Carol. 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 If I have to do it, you have to do it. That's just not fair. Come on, oh, so that way. Please. She didn't have a choice if she wants to sleep in our house tonight. <laughs> Oh, they're actually have a place to go and sleep. I'll take all my snacks off. Come on, Debbie. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. If I look, stand up and feet, me. I'm looking straight at you. That's great. That's called reverse psychology. So get your fanny perpendicular up there with my daughter, please. And thank you. Kind man. Thank you. Oh, yes. And you may even have your choice of weapons here. Don't look at me. He told me. He used to be my friend. He told me to. I got to sleep with him. You don't have to. You chose to. That's when he's got the spare bed. There's nowhere else to go. Are you picking that one? What? Excellent. Are you picking anything you want? So it goes like this. You know how it goes, right? It goes. Yeah, I'll show you. Go tell it on the mountain over the hill. Oh, I'm sorry. Go tell it on the mountain, right? And then kill the da 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 da. Go tell it that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds kept their watching while silent watch by night. Behold, he wrote the heavens, there shone a holy day. Everyone takes a huge, humongous, deep breath. <gasps>
Father, thank you for smiles and laughter and giggles. And uh, Lord, that's what you want from us. Uh, there's so many emotions that we have this time of year. And we looked into some of them on Wednesday, the, the longest night of the year. And those were Christmas was not so great for them. But there's also a joy that you can give to each and every one of us, no matter what's going on in our lives. And Father, I just ask that you give to each and every person here, not only a blessing, but uh, just give them a joy, an understanding of that joy, Lord. Be with us as we take a look at various things tonight and sing carols to you. And just I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing, and, and now, so we'll do this. It'll be nice. No foolery. We three kings have oriented our. We three kings have oriented our. something uh, for his mother. 
Please listen. <laughs> Not really in the Christmas mood Standing right in front of me Was a little boy waiting anxiously Pacing around like the little boys do And in his hands he held a pair of shoes And his clothes were worn and old He was dirty I couldn't believe what I heard him say. Sir, I want to buy these shoes for my mama, please. It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size. Could you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time. She's been sick for quite a while And I know these shoes will make her smile And I want her to look beautiful If Mama meets Jesus tonight The counted pennies for what seem like years And the cashier said, son, there's not enough here Search his pockets frantically. Then he turned and he looked at me. He said, Mama, make Christmas good at our house, though. Most years she just did without. Tell me, sir, what am I going to do? Somehow I've got to buy her these Christmas shoes. So I laid my money down. Mama's gonna look so great Sir, I wanna buy these shoes For my mama, please It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size Could you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time for quite a while and I know these shoes will make her smile and I want her to look beautiful if mama meets Jesus tonight I knew I'd caught a glimpse of heaven's love as he thanked me and ran out I knew that God had sent that little boy Just what Christmas is all about. Sir, I want to buy these shoes. For my mama, please. It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just too soon. Can you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time. For quite a while, and I know these shoes will never smile, and I want her to look beautiful. If Mama meets Jesus tonight, I want her to look beautiful. If Mama meets Jesus tonight.
I know that normally at Christmas Eve it's very holy, it's very uh, henceful, and, uh, and, and, and it should be, but we also need to understand that Yeshua, or Jesus, and Mary, and Joseph, or just human beings, like the rest of us, and I think sometimes we need to remind ourselves of that fact. And I remember when uh, we were giving birth to our first child, and I was young and stupid, as some young men usually are at the very beginning of life, right, a new life, and, uh, and Tony decided to be born about four in the morning or so, give or take, two, five, five, five in the morning, and uh, so I, I drove Lois to the hospital, to the Grace in Halifax. The Grace maternity doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. They tore it down, but that's where we went. And uh, we're, we're getting through the parking lot. Now, this is about 4.30 in the morning or so, right? We're 3? Three, 3 o'clock. That's my memory over here, because sometimes that goes. So 3 o'clock in the morning, it's dark, pitch dark, nobody around. And we're walking across the parking lot towards the emergency door, and Lois has a contraction, and she's bent over. And I'm young and stupid, and I'm sitting there thinking, Lois, stand up. <laughs> well, that's the problem, right? I said, you're embarrassing me. Three o'clock in the morning, there's no one to be embarrassed, right? So she gives me that wise look, you know, the laser beams of death. <laughs> and, uh, and we eventually make it into the hospital, and she gives birth. And I'm, I'm thinking that that sometimes men are human beings and do dumb things like that. And, and the women have to be wiser. And, and, right? And, uh, and so I'm, here we are. This is, this is Christmas Eve. And Jesus will be born in the morning or later on in the middle of the night. And right now they've come a long way. And all the, the, the cards, the, the uh, Hallmark cards show, uh, show Mary beautifully side saddle on a, on a horse or on a donkey or something with a smile on her face. And, and I remember when Lois was pregnant, right? So nine months and she was great with child. And I'm thinking, one, there's no way she's sitting on the back of a donkey. That's not happening. It's not happening. Two, she's not smiling about it. And here, so now Mary is either riding in, probably in a wagon, for two days to get to this place. And they arrive there, and there's no room at the inn. And I can see Joseph saying, Hun, <laughs> the big eight is full, right? <laughs> the seven or whatever, the holiday inn, nothing's, not, nothing's happening here. Um, we'll, we'll have to go... In a what? You're going to have to. Mm -hmm. Just follow me. And so they go down in the side of Bethlehem, in the side of the cliffs, were caves underneath homes where the stables were. And he leads her to the stable. And I can see him saying, Here, hon, we're in a place for you to give birth. And the only thing in there is this stone trough. And a couple of chairs and maybe a blanket, maybe. And I can see Mary looking at him with the laser eyes again. Like maybe like Lois gave me when I said, you're embarrassing me, stand up when she was having contraction at three o'clock in the morning in the middle of the parking lot. And uh, and Mary be, you know, uh, really Joseph? <laughs> right? Like I'm I've done all the heavy lifting here for nine months. And I'm gonna give birth, and you're gonna stick me in a cave. Now they don't have any money, so the, the, the midwives would have come out from the village and uh, they would have talked to her and uh, stayed with her throughout the night. Joseph was there, it would come time for her to give birth. Now I was with Lois when she gave birth and it was a, that's a story for a whole other time and because uh, our first child was definitely sick and not breathing and I had to lie to her for about 20 minutes. Which was very difficult. But and so it's coming time for, for Jesus to be born, and the midwife looks at Joseph, who's excited about watching his child be born, and says, You out. You out. You see, in those days, you could not look between a 
woman's legs when they were giving birth. And so Joseph had to leave the cave. So we have that nice Hallmark picture of him right there. Everything's happening. I knew. <laughs> he was outside trying to figure out how he's going to work his way back in again. And they eventually, she eventually gave birth. And, uh, and I just want to read this real briefly. And uh, it's, this is um, it's called the Magnificent. And uh, Mary said this at, uh, uh, at the angel, at everyone talking, who said, my soul exists, exalts the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior, for he has regarded the humble state of his bond slave for before the time on all generations will count me blessed, and for the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is upon the, the generations after generations toward those who hear him. Anyway, she goes on to the end and she says, and Mary stayed with her about three months or so. Uh, oh, no, this is, uh, yeah. But says, whatever God says, I'm going to do. And I feel blessed for this. And I don't think she was feeling blessed in a cave, sitting on the knees of a midwife, getting ready to give birth. Jesus didn't go to a fancy home or a fancy house or fancy rich people. Because if Jesus was born with rich people, then the poor people would never have been able to reconcile, never been able to, you know, lean into him and, and, and think about him and, and identify with him. And if he was born dirt poor, then the rich people would probably say, well, if he was so poor, surely, you know, he's coming for me too, right? Because we're rich and we can do this or we can do that. But Jesus came in the middle of the night, probably in a cave that was a reasonable temperature, apparently, but it was not a hallmark picture. It was not. But he didn't come to have his picture taken and put on a hallmark card with all the, the critters around and the you know nice wood because there's a lot of wood in Bethlehem. Not. It might be three sticks of wood for the first 10 miles, but it was all there in the card. Jesus came for you and for me because he loves us. Even though there was there were probably words between Joseph and Mary, um, even though he was born in this cave, it was still a holy night. And so please listen to this song. Christ was born. 
Amen. Hey, hey. 
seconds light the Christ candle from the candles of hope and peace and joy and love. Isaac's going to put on a, a beautiful video about the Christ child and uh, I will come back to, to the edge of each seat and light one candle and you can pass that light across and when we get to the end of this little video then we'll sing Silent night together. Please. 
I know I talked about Jesus about to be born, about all the things that happened that night. Jesus is God who set aside all of his divine powers to become fully human like us so that we can know that when he went to heaven, when he was resurrected, we will be as well. And so he did all the crazy things I might have done only 2,000 years ago different. And I'm sure they had their moments together. But it's so that we can know for certain that no matter what dumb things we do, no matter how life goes for us, that in the end, we will be with the Lord. And that's the whole point. From my family to your family, a very, very merry Christmas. God bless you all. God bless you all. I have some blue bulbs left over from Wednesday's service.